So, you think you got what it takes to survive a zombie apocalypse? Well, here's your chance to find out with Microsoft's new exclusive game, State of the K2. If you're a zombie fan, I'm sure you had those arguments with your friends about how do you survive a zombie outbreak. And I'm sure we've all sat back during the episode of Walking Dead and thought to ourselves, like, what is Rick doing? Like, I could do ten times better than that if I was a leader. I didn't ask for this! Well, now's your chance to find out firsthand if you survive a world that's been torn apart by hordes of zombies. State of the K2 forces you to frequently make tough decisions all for the betterment of your group. Almost all aspects of surviving a zombie pandemic will become a part of your life in State of Decay 2. Things like finding a safe outpost for you and your followers, making sure you have sufficient food, water, and medicine for everyone, making sure to settle any disputes between survivors because people who live in close quarters for a long time will most certainly have arguments, and even deciding what to do with a snoring survivor who single-handedly keeps everyone in the group from getting a good amount of sleep. <laughs> And that's what makes State of the Case so interesting. You'll be forced to deal with situations that are unheard of in most video games, and you can do what you want with those situations. For instance, in dealing with the snoring survivor, you could A. Deal with it because he's a valuable part of your group, B. Kick him out because he's causing trouble, or C. Kill him because he's an asshole and he shouldn't be snoring, which is something I imagine Negan would do. <laughs> Really? What makes State of the Case so interesting is the whole permadeath system, which means if one of your characters die, they're dead for good. <laughs> this adds another interesting dimension to the game. Since all of your characters have skills that can be developed by doing various tasks, you can groom them for specific missions. Basically, if you wanted to increase your stamina or shooting skills, simply run a lot and shoot a lot of guns. So if you were planning on doing a scavenging mission around an area where you suspect there are a lot of zombies, you wouldn't want to use someone who has 1 star rating and stamina. They probably wouldn't survive. Last truck, get in. The part I'm most excited about with State of the K2 is the new co-op feature. The first State of the K was still a great game, but I always felt like it could have been a lot better with friends. Now Undead Labs has incorporated the flirt system. Like ringing a bell in the Dark Souls games, you can pull other players into your game by shooting a single flare into the sky. Players who are set to be volunteers will drop into your game and give you a helping hand. But it's not all risk free. Just like when you're playing single player, if your character dies in the friend's world, they're dead for good. So be careful who you decide to play with because they can end up getting you killed in a variety of different ways. Like attracting a horde of zombies with loud noises. The huge open world that State of Decay provides you with will definitely keep things fresh for you and your friends as you go explore together. Jeff Strain claims that the new State of Decay map will be three times the size of the previous game, which is saying a whole lot. With the new game engine and a much bigger budget, State of Decay 2 is sure to be a more polished and better game. State of Decay 2 is set to release in the spring of 2018. If you want to see how I survive a zombie apocalypse, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if that's not enough motivation to subscribe, listen to my friend Shia LaBeouf. Do it! Just do it! As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.